first of all, I started off liking it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's some stuff that um, got really personal. That it was a couple things that I would have left alone, but I'm not gonna say it. But I like Kendrick Lamar, I like Drake. Um, so for the culture, it was good. It's like a it's like a boxing match, right? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Um, okay, so you know, right now in the news, right now is going mm-hmm. crazy about everybody talking about it. Me, did it, no the Drake <laughs> and <laughs> the Drake and um, Kendrick okay. beef, and everybody's saying how Drake is just destroying Kendrick. Kendrick, Some people and, saying it different ways, yeah. but I've been seeing a lot of because he came out with his second disc, and mm-hmm. it's just everybody's just saying it's lame and all sorts of stuff. And so, what do you feel about their beef? And is it really a beef, or are they just doing it because some people are like, "Well, an album must be coming out." Can mm-hmm. you know how publicity, mm-hmm. you know, stuff be going on? What do you think? Um, I would say, first of all, I started off liking it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's some stuff that um, got really personal. That it was a couple things that I would have left alone, but I'm not gonna say it. But I like Kendrick Lamar, I like Drake. Um, so for the culture, it was good. It's like a, it's like a boxing match, right? Um, it's debatable. Like subject, like you say, it's uh, who, who's, who's, winning. who's winning and who's losing. Yeah, mm-hmm. Cause I know people, I, so funny. I was in a, I was in a shop, a barber shop in, uh, in, um, LA and it was like, Kendrick is the best in the world. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, um, and then I, I, I went to, I ate out, what was it? I think it was in Dallas. I ate out, and that's all he was talking about was a debate. So on this side, it's more like because of the ties to New Orleans with cash, with cash money and all that stuff, whatever. That's right. I heard yeah. that, too. It's been on this show. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they, they pro Drake. Drake. They pro yeah. Drake. Pro Drake. Drake. So, uh, shout out to, uh, uh, what's his name, last night? Uh, Black and Mile. Black and Mile. He, yeah, yeah. You know, he produced some yeah, of Drake's yeah. tracks, so yeah. he's biased. No, no, for sure. Um, but see, if you... And rightfully so. Yeah, <laughs> but the thing about it is, what we talked about, and I think we can't lose sight of, um, we have just different expectations or whatever we want to believe or whatever. Like, because you saying, most people would be like, PMC ain't that good, but for us, we ain't playing. Like it was that. like we ain't playing about PMC at right? all, <laughs> right? And so, but you know what is so funny because. They're not playing about Mac Dre in a bay. Like you, you say anything about Mac <laughs> yeah. Dre, they're not playing. It's, it's way up there. So yeah. you just gotta love just different. You just gotta you just gotta be able to be, salute everybody and be like, yo, just give everybody props. Now I like the debate of who's better, E Forty Mac Dre, but I'm still giving E Forty Mac Dre they separate props. You see what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. just like. Both of them dudes is dope, right? Both of them dope. Yep. So and they cool. can be. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like when people do disses, um, as an artist, mm-hmm. can you tell when somebody just um, react mm-hmm. compared to sit down and really just like put thought into mm-hmm. their diss and like, okay, mm-hmm. no, I'm going to do this. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going to really kill you in this diss oh, mm-hmm. compared to off the fly because you said something and you hurt my feelings, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm just going and go to the studio and put it out. Can you tell the difference? Mm. Uh, you you probably can't because you don't know how involved or how how some what the type of time somebody put in. So you really don't know because they got like I like Jay Z for instance. Um, it's crazy. So um, like he don't write either, mm-hmm. right? So so that makes it even more special. But you will swear that he writes though the way it comes across. You know what I'm saying? But not right. because. To me, it's um, like Drake is like Jay Z was, like how Pac was. So I don't know if you remember this, but Pac could do no wrong, right? I'm somebody like every song I heard of Pac was like, just find me a bad Pac song, right? You yeah, can't I'm find not gonna it, right? find you one. You can't find a bad Pimp C song at all. <laughs> at all. I don't <laughs> never have a bad Pimp C I song. I ain't even you heard it. You? Some Pimp C. He can say whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you? Nope. <laughs> when you think about well, it, well, you, what I'm saying is, when you know what Pimp C is, is, then you could just enjoy that it's Pimp C, right? There and you then go. When you know exactly what Pac is, you could enjoy what Pac right. is, right? Yeah. And then, because like and Mac Dre and E Forty, so once you understand, and I think that's what people is debating, like, oh, who's the worst? Who's the? They only not understand it. They just they so caught up in what they think that is right, mm-hmm. but. 
I'm like, watch this here, Method Man. I'm like, I really rock with Method Man. Now, people on the East Coast, I mean, the West Coast, they're going to be like, no, nah, we don't rock like that. But if you just really pay attention to Method Man, you'll be like, oh, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't pay attention to, man, keep the, you know, keep the East Coast stuff on the side. So I've just been a person that could appreciate all the music. And I don't have an opinion either way go. If I like it, I like it. I play it. If I don't. Is it, it because yeah. of culture why people always be like, keep that over there, keep that over there, and not just be all around just into the music? Um, I just I don't think they just, I think just they don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just think that... Um, once again, it's just we like I say subjective. They just, I mean, it ain't you can't keep nothing over there when it's all part of music. Mm-hmm. If it's just music, let's talk about the music biz. Now, if you want to talk about hip hop and hip hop only, then let's stay there. If you want to talk about real music everywhere, it's everywhere. They but people it. talk about a culture though because they can't resonate with what goes on up there in the north because it's different from what goes mm-hmm. on how, down here in the mm-hmm. south. So I mm. can't feel your music and the things that you're talking about because that doesn't, you know, go along with what my life look like down here. But that's all it is. Um, but still, don't don't disrespect the other culture. Come just on because now, because you have a culture, right? Mm-hmm. You just you you gotta know wherever you go at is different. Like like Midwest is different from the De- South. It, it definitely, yeah. definitely, and they love the South. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.